Today we've exchanged the canvas apron for a white apron because we're making our own finish. Uh, the finish that I've been lovingly referring to is the Cat's Moses Goo. Stop it. We're gonna make, and it just is pretty simple, beeswax and mineral oil. And I'll link both of these down in the pinned comment and the description, but it's a phenomenal finish and it's quickly becoming one of my favorite things to have in the shop. It's great for the 3D cutting board we just made, uh, the shooting board we just made, but it's also great on tools for protecting your hand planes or your cast iron like here on my bandsaw. And it's really easy to make. It's not a new recipe, this isn't something I created, but uh, I've found a quick way to make it. Hopefully you can glean some tips from my instruction and I think you'll really like it. So without further ado, let's get started. Now I'm going to use a chafing dish, but you could use a crock pot or a double boiler. Um, any way that you can slowly heat something up and keep it warm just so wax will melt. One of the great things about mineral oil is it's non-flammable, so you don't have to worry about it like if you were making linseed oil for, or something like that. You don't have to worry about it catching on fire. Now the ratio I use is four to one, uh, which is gonna be about half a gallon of mineral oil to two cups of natural beeswax. And this is some great stuff that I've used and works great for me. Uh, I'm sure any beeswax would would work, you just want to use kind of natural stuff so that it stays food safe. Okay, so now that that has all melted, we're gonna go ahead and let it cool. You can bottle it now and put it in the fridge, or you can just let it cool in its container. I, I like to do that because it's just easy to scoop up and put in jars when it's done. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and add some cold water to the underside of this just to help speed the process up, uh, but just letting it sit with the lid on it is fine. It should be cool in an hour or so. So let's get this thing into a solid form. Okay, now that it's dried, uh, we're gonna go ahead and can it. I, I like to put the date on it because apparently mineral oil can go bad or rancid. I've never had it happen to me, but uh, it can. And so we're just gonna write the date. So if one batch goes bad, we'll know. And it's very simple. I like to do this before it kind of hardens all the way because it's a little bit easier just to get in the jar. And just a word to the wise, don't spill this stuff. In bulk, it is very hard to clean up. So there we go, we've got one jarred up and we're gonna go ahead and do the rest. So you're just gonna put it in the jar and you know let it cool another couple hours overnight, doesn't really matter. You're never gonna use all this in a day. This is tons, this goes so far, so. Guys, that's how you make the Cat's Moses love sauce. <laughs> Sorry, gentlemen uh, and ladies. Um, this stuff will last you forever and it is so useful. So make some of this up, it's cheap as can be. Super great thing to have around the shop. Um, if you want to support the channel, head over to the Cat's Moses store. It'll be linked down below. Get yourself a stop block, a dovetail jig, or a t-shirt. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe in the kitchen, and have a wonderful day, guys.